Hey guys, this is Akshat from Neptune. I'm a lead developer here at Neptune and I would like to quickly highlight a cool new feature of our Planet 8 DX platform. You can have multiple classes in your applications. You can use them via REST API. So let me quickly go to API Designer in where I can show you a REST API or nothing but a class in your backend SAP. So here I'm using a data provider class. It's the same class which you guys use day in and day out. Just the exception being you have to use this new interface in your class and you are good to go for the REST API. So you can just define this REST API and can add your operations or these are nothing but your methods in your classes and you will be good to go. So let's go to our application designer and let's design a application on the basis of two classes. So let's quickly start by creating an application. This gives you a great flexibility in using multiple classes in the very same application. So in the settings like we always did, I will be taking a class and let's go back. I will be creating a split app from the code snippets and let's pull a REST API component for our second class which I just showed it to you guys. I will add it to resources, select the very same one, select the operation or the method in your class, click on binding and we are good from here set in it load to online so let's bind some elements to our display so here I will be taking the first class which I just uh, displayed in the settings I will be taking IT flights internal table let's take a HX ID or nothing but the method let's bind this quickly I will take intro to airline ID, number to connection ID, title to airline name, in the number of units I will take flights. Let's activate this and let's see what is the output currently and then we can move on to bind our second REST API or class. and see the difference so as you can see here in the master section you see uh, the first class the flights class which we define in the settings the data is being populated from that so now let's bind uh, our item or the detail section to our very next class which I just imported in I will disable this let's take a table for quick display of our second class I've taken a table I will refresh this and we should see our second rest API here right away here and now I can use this let's go back to rest API and let's enable this to receive data going back to the table I will quickly import some fields and let's activate this so as you can see here uh, we have data flowing in from one class on the master side and one class on the detail side so it's very cool functionality like I said you can use multiple classes which we were not having earlier and now you can use this Thank you for listening into this session. Bye-bye.